In our last video, we were in Jefferson City, Missouri, where we explored the Capitol grounds located next to the Missouri River. We checked out historic downtown. We explored the Jefferson Landing Historic Site. We heard tales of the haunted governor's mansion. We checked out the old houses and businesses in the Capitol Avenue Historic District. And we saw the grounds of the old Missouri Penitentiary. In this video, we are in St. Louis, Missouri. Alright, this is stop two on what we're calling Wanderlust 2022, our epic adventure from Kansas to Florida. We stayed at the Courtyard Marriott Downtown West, which is on Market Street. If you're unfamiliar, Market Street is the main drag that'll take you right to the arch. This is the cool view we had from our room. As is typical for us, we started without much of a plan, but we knew where we wanted to start the famous Gateway Arch at the end of Market Street. As per our usual protocol, Carol, can you tell us just a little bit about St. Louis, Missouri? St. Louis, Missouri has a population of about 300,000, but its metropolitan area, which extends into Illinois, has about 2.8 million people. It sits near the confluence of both the Mississippi and the Missouri rivers. Here are some fun facts about St. Louis. It was the first U.S. city to host the modern Olympics. The first interstate highway was built here. The very first kindergartens started in St. Louis, and it used to be the largest shoe manufacturing center in the world. Our trip to the Arch took a little longer than planned, as it turns out Market Street actually has a lot of pretty cool historical landmarks. One of my favorites being the old historic city hall, which you see here. Caroline, can you tell us a little bit about this building? Historic City Hall has housed city government since 1898 and it is still in use. This six acre site is known as Washington Square and when it was built back in the late 1800s, the building cost them $1.8 million. In most of our videos, I try to identify a building that really stands out to me. For St. Louis, it's definitely this old city hall. There's just something about it that looks really cool. So the side of the Market Street that we're taking the pictures and video from is basically a series of parks, including Memorial Plaza, and Polker Park, and then the buildings that we're filming are part of the government next to the city hall, and then there's also a theater there. It's either the Stifle or Stifle Theater. If anybody's listening to this knows how you pronounce it, let us know. Uh, but that's also a very cool landmark. From there, we headed east on Market Street, where you can see the old courthouse, and then you go right into Gateway Arch National Park. So today we're in downtown St. Louis, and neither one of us had ever been here. And of course, you have to start at the Gateway Arch. But I think until you see it in person, Nothing prepares you for how massive it is and how tiny people look standing next to it. So check it out.
We get that the Gateway Arch is one of the most photographed landmarks in the United States, but it would be weird to do a video of St. Louis without including it. So we'll try to be brief with the pictures of the arch, but now we're going to focus on the park around the arch, which is equally cool. The arch itself was built in the 1960s, but this only became a national park in 2018. The park backs up to the Mississippi River, and across the river is Illinois. This is about as good as we can do to get a picture of the entire arch and to give a, a proper scale. We're just a little ways down from the park. If you're like me and you travel doing almost no homework or looking at the map, you might be surprised to know that across the river is a different state, Illinois, which I just learned. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And uh, on the way here this morning, our hotel was actually on Market Street, which is sort of the main street that comes literally straight to the arch. Uh, and it kind of divides the town on the right hand side coming towards the river. It's the ballpark. Um, also, I believe where they play hockey. And the left side is more of the old downtown, which we're gonna check out next. After exploring the park, we decided to head downtown. This included the Bankers District and the Garment District. Like most downtowns, it was a combination of residential and commercial buildings, and there were definite signs of gentrification. If you're a music fan, you probably know St. Louis's role in the history of jazz and blues in America, and there's a National Blues Museum there you can visit if you'd like to learn more. Their convention center, the America's Center, is immediately adjacent to the Dome at America's Center, where the St. Louis Rams used to play before moving to LA. If like us, you prefer to explore a new city on foot, we think you'll find St. Louis to be remarkably easy to navigate around. Most of the core of the downtown, including the gateway attraction, can be found directly off of Market Street. And most of our explorations are within three or four blocks of Market Street. Here we stumbled upon the Campbell House, which is considered the oldest house in St. Louis. It was built in 1851 and opened as a museum in 1943. The museum contains a number of Campbell family possessions amassed from 1854 through 1938. If you would like to visit the museum, just know that on Monday and Tuesday it's by appointment only. When you're out exploring, be sure to go down the side streets and the alleys. That's where you'll find some of these cool murals, which I swear we've seen in every city we've visited, as well as some unique buildings. I loved this old hat maker factory. If you've watched any of our videos, you know I love my hats. By this time, we'd been walking around about three hours exploring the arch and the downtown area, so it's time for our favorite part of exploring any city, the food. You can't be in St. Louis without getting barbecue, and Sugar Fire did not disappoint. This was delicious. After a great lunch, we decided to continue our exploration of downtown. At this point, we're still on the north side of Market Street. If you visit St. Louis and prefer to do your exploration in a car, note that like with a lot of older cities, there's a lot of one-way streets in the downtown area, so be careful to make sure that you're going in the right direction. Our 
our unofficial observation is that the farther away you get from the Gateway Arch National Park and the core downtown, the more dilapidated the buildings are. But fortunately, it looks like there's a lot of renovation of these buildings going on right now. As you can see in these pictures, there was a lot of construction going on. I love looking at these old buildings and trying to picture what they were like in their heyday. We discovered that they're building a brand new soccer stadium downtown. It will house the St. Louis City Soccer Club, which is expected to begin play next year in 2023. We ran into a local resident out walking his dog and he said those that live downtown are excited about this new venue. At this point, we've nearly completed a full circle of exploration, almost back where we started. So now it's time to jump to the south side of Market Street and check out the St. Louis Union Station. I am enamored with train travel, so I loved Union Station. It was opened in 1894, and at the time it was the largest in the world that had tracks and passenger service areas all on one level. And in the 40s, at its peak, there were 100,000 people a day that went through this station. In 1978, the last Amtrak train went through Union Station, and in the 80s, it was renovated to become a hotel and a shopping district. Since then, it's been renovated a couple of times to add more shopping and office space. We really enjoyed it. So we're having a really fun day in St. Louis. After we left the Arch Park, we went and walked, zigzagged all through downtown. We've been to the Bankers District and the Garment District, and they have done a lot of remodeling. There's a lot of old buildings being converted to apartments and condos, which is really cool. Now we're at the old Union Station, which is a beautiful hotel, and there's some pictures that we'll share with you. But on the back side of it, where the trains used to be, they've actually put in restaurants, the aquariums here, and it's a, almost like a little carnival. There's the giant Ferris wheel that you can see from our hotel, so it's a really fun little place to stop. We stopped to relax in the shade and have a beverage. After our stop at Union Station, we continued our exploration south of Market Street where we saw the Enterprise Center, which is the home to the St. Louis Blues hockey team, and then eventually come to Bush Stadium where the Cardinals play. I believe at the time of our visit, uh, we had already missed the regular hockey season, so there wasn't any chance to see the Blues, but as we were working our way towards Bush Stadium, we were hoping perhaps that there would be a baseball game we could check out. Unfortunately, that was not meant to be, but we found something else that was equally as cool. We'll check that out here in just a second. The Cardinals actually had an away game, but we came across Together Plaza. You can see in the background there, they actually show their away games on the big screen, so fans can come watch and support them whether they're in town or not. It was fun because they had live music playing as well as a bar and food opportunities. People could come play outdoor games and just enjoy the sunshine. Together Plaza is right next door to Bush Stadium. As we pan around, you can see some glimpses of the stadium, as well as some of the businesses that are part of Together Plaza.
Okay, it looks like it's time to wrap this up. So what do you think of St. Louis? So we're back in the park where we kind of started. Uh, and I told Caroline earlier today, I feel like I owe the Midwest a bit of an apology. <laughs> There's all sorts of places I've been looking forward to traveling since we retired and um, the Midwest wasn't on that list. But I have to say, every city we've gone to, uh, from the ones in Kansas, uh, Chicago, uh, Kansas City, now St. Louis, they've all been really cool. Beautiful cities with unique attractions like the big one behind us. Uh, the people are always so friendly in the, mm -hmm. the Midwest. The food is fantastic, something I'm going to have to work on throughout the summer to, <laughs> to work off a bit. But anyways, uh, St. Louis exceeded my expectations of all the, the trip, of all the destinations on this trip that we've plotted out. I will be honest and say this was probably one of the least exciting to me, but may end up being one of the highlights. It was beautiful, beautiful day, great city. I couldn't be happier. And yourself? I loved St. Louis and as Jeff said, I mean, we had never been here before, but what a great little city and we spent all our time right in the heart of downtown, but it was fun to see things. Of course, the arch is amazing. As you mentioned, delicious food and so it's been a really great trip. I'm excited about this and we'll definitely come back. So it's the end of our filming for this video, but not the end of our time here. We're going to wander around a little bit more, grab something to eat, uh, and just enjoy our last few hours here before we head to our next destination tomorrow. So with that said, get off the couch, go enjoy yourself, go see the country. Cheers! <laughs>